All right, guys, before the video starts, I just want to say that I, I limited myself to showing some methods. Um, so I was actually going to show like a few more methods in this video, but I decided not to because I realized this, this could also benefit cheaters hiding their clients better, which is not the goal of the video. The goal of the video is just to show you guys how to screen share and how to find clients on like your, your server. But uh, I had to cut a few methods out. So basically, I only showed like two or three more methods in Process Hacker that could obviously help you out. And, uh, you know, I apologize in, in advance because... It's really hard to make these videos like you know without client developers patching these methods or you know cheaters hiding their clients better so i made it the best as possible best of my ability so it you know it won't affect you guys because like i don't want cheaters to be hiding it better this will this will help you a lot um and yeah this will like, give you the last part of the how to ss so anyways guys drop a like and uh, yeah peace all right, what's poppin' boys headed here? I'm with Tayshawn today. Today we'll be doing how to screen share part two. Now everyone's been asking for this, and by the way, this is this is gonna be the last how to screen share. So hopefully we're gonna hit 100 likes. And make sure you guys subscribe, um, guys. Make sure you watch the first how to SS first uh, because you're gonna need you're gonna need it if you want to watch this. You're gonna have to understand it. But yeah, we're actually gonna start off uh, in Process Hacker. So I want to demonstrate you guys one thing. We're actually going to rename an autoclicker to spotify.exe because people think that you can't find it, uh, which is not true. You can actually find it. So I do have a, a clicker. I'm actually going to go on a single player world right, real quick. And guys, don't forget to sub to taste your own and give them the 1k. <laughs> facts, facts. Okay, hold on. All right, guys, autoclicker is open right now. So I'm just going to toggle it on and then I'm just going to you know, hit, hit a little bit and then we're going to go and process hacker and find it. All right, so by the way, this is also renamed uh, spotify.exe. So it's going to be hard to find. So distract is F8. We're going to press F8. All right, now it's fully clear. It's, it's off. It's deleted. So we're going to find it now. All right, also let's just delete Spotify.exe, open file location. This is in my Telegram desktop, so shift delete. Oh, it's, it's gone, all right, we're gonna find it. All right, we're gonna search up explore.exe. Uncheck hide free reason, regions, go to strings, four, check image and map. All right, once it's loaded, go to contains case incessive. Let's just, let's just try a PCA client. Let's see if it'll pop up. Let's save it and then save it to my downloads. Yes. All right, as you can see, this is right here, the Spotify.exe. So you know, if I see this right out of the bat, if someone opens it from, let's say, the Telegram desktop or or, or just their desktop downloads, whatever, I'd, I I'd probably know. And plus, let's just copy this. It's not there. Obviously, you can replace it with the with the actual Spotify. But even if I did, you probably just go to Prefetch and then you search up Spotify. It'd be there, but I, I actually opened it twice, but the the normal Spotify, if you were to open it, it would be, it would spam it, which I'll show you guys in the next clip. But yeah, we're going to do the prefetch thing after. For now, we're going to close out. We're going to go to file colon dot exe. This will help you find all the dot exes they ran in the, in uh, the instance of like how long your computer's been on. So as you can see, I ran it from my Telegram desktop. I'm pretty sure I ran it twice just to double check. And uh, obviously you can see right out of the bat, what's this, Telegram desktop, same thing as that. And PokeMML, what's PokeMML? I mean like, it's not on my desktop. Basically, I actually renamed PokeMML to Spotify, just to show you guys that, you know, it's it, they're still gonna have this saved, even though I didn't even open this, it's still gonna show in the Explorer. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys what happens when I open the real Spotify. All right, Spotify is open right now. I'm just gonna let it load fully so it actually processes it in, into uh, Explore. All right, load it. I'm just gonna close it. I'm gonna go back to this, check image and map. All right, I'm just gonna search a PCA client once again just to see what happens. I mean, as you guys just saw, I just opened up Spotify, like the real one, and it's not in here. Um, I'm pretty sure if it were to pop up in here, it'd say program files, but yeah, I mean, that's also something to look out for, boys. Like, you know, this is open from uh, Telegram desktop, you know, if you're in a screen share, just open the real Spotify and it, I mean, won't pop up. So obviously, um, even if I search up Spotify, you can't really get a file location. Like it, it, there's no file location for it. So really, if someone opens it from, you know, let's say their desktop or downloads, um, I, don't, I don't know, but this is just for me. You can obviously see that it's not on my Telegram desktop or anywhere like that. So yeah, that this is unlegit. I banned for it. Um, obviously that's PCA client, which is what we did last video, uh, the last how to SS. So I'm actually going to show you guys a different method. So once again, if I go back to file colon, then I go back to the case and says the 
I can obviously spot out like really clearly that there's obviously something going on here. You know, Spotify has been open around five times, which is, you know, I only open it twice, but it actually spams it. That's something to, to note on. And plus, Telegram Desktop Poke MMO. That's a little bit weird. So I'm going to escape that. I did not mean to do that. Let me just go back into that. Okay. I'm going to search up Spotify. See, this is the real Spotify. Windows app, blah, 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 all that, all that. And that, that's when I open Spotify. For some reason, it doesn't show up in PCA client. And then, yeah, this is a legit Spotify. And then when you come down here, it says from Telegram Desktop. If Telegram Desktop, like, you can obviously spot out this is unlegit compared to the real Spotify. But yeah, just something to point out. And plus, guys, you can rename this auto clicker to anything. You know, NordVPN, blah, blah, blah. Like, you can literally rename it anything you want. OBS. So always look up. For the directory you literally just have to look at this part file location download program desktop i'm pretty sure it's different for multiple clients i'm just testing it on one auto clicker so hopefully this guy this will help you out guys this is when i search up spotify and uh prefetch or whatever but yeah anyways uh yeah on to the next clip all right guys so i'm actually gonna inject the auto clicker again uh i gotta show you something else in prefetch i just want to let you guys know about all right so auto click is on i'm just gonna you know auto click a little bit we do, do not recommend cheating. Yeah, obviously don't cheat. This is how to, how to find cheats, obviously, you know. All right, we're gonna close auto clicker now. All right, so I'm gonna go and prefetch, right? Right, okay. Search up Spotify. It shows up once. Take that in, it shows up once. I'm gonna open real Spotify. All right, Spotify's open. I'm gonna close it again. I'm gonna go back to prefetch. Look what happens. It spams, okay? So basically, when it just says one Spotify.exe, that's not legit because it always has to open around like five or six Spotify.exe's, which is gonna show in prefetch, especially the Spotify migrator. So, I mean, just keep this in mind, boys, because this is obviously not just happening to me. You know, in prefetch, if you see this type of stuff, then this is something to look out for. So obviously, this, this one down here, if it opens up once, that's the auto clicker and these five six whatever are the legit spotify so keep that in mind boys that might be something you want to figure that out in a screen share but yeah all right and also guys uh basically it could be renamed to anything like andy does nord vpn paladin so just be on the watch out when you're in pca client yeah that's true all right guys another thing that people have been doing recently so if i go into explore i'm on general all right so my computer has been on for 35 minutes um which is, yeah, this time right here. So basically guys, um, yeah, the time started is the time that when my PC actually turned on. So what people have been doing is they've actually can right click and click restart. Now restarting basically just does, doesn't show anything. Like if I'm going into like searching up any string and like it just clears, like there's nothing there. So um, what you wanna do to check that is just make sure the time doesn't say like maybe like five minutes ago because if that if that says like you know a short time then that means they probably restarted explore um the thing also if you want to check this going to java w if the time is greater than the time in explore then that means that they restart explore and yes i did restart explore which is why uh this says 55 minutes and explore says 30. but yeah just make keep a lookout for that boys yeah you know like, i think i found that in like my staff series before yeah if this is confusing then, you know, I apologize. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tayshawn obviously knows that too. But, you know, we're trying our best out here, boys. But, yeah. Um, if you guys don't understand, just probably repeat the video or just, you know, try it yourself. You just right-click, restart, and you'll see that it clears Explorer. But yeah, on to the next clip. All right, guys. The last thing I want to show you is search up uh, whatever browser they use. I use Firefox. Uh, open Firefox and search up Firefox on here. Click the top one. All right, go to memory, strings four, okay. And all you gotta do is contains case insensitive and then search up, search up download. Now you can easily find like, you know, what these people have downloaded on Firefox, say like a client. So maybe if you wanna search up different clients, we're talking about like vape. See, I, I actually did that. And yeah, it's searched up right here. So it would say something like this, you know, if they have a vape account, it'd be like slash login, download, whatever. I do have a vape account, I haven't signed in in a while. But uh, yeah, I just searched it up now just to show you guys it. So this will also give you hints um, that, you know, what clients they have. So, you know, obviously if this, it says vape, you know, type in some vape met, vape strings in uh, the Java w.exe. But obviously I can't show that in the video because client developers will patch it, which is not the purpose of the video. So yeah, if you guys have like a head of SS, you know, screen share guide type stuff on your Minecraft server, 
Um, all you gotta do is just type in some strings. You know, it gives you it gives you some hints, it gives you some hints like what client you think they're using. But yeah, other than that, guys, I'll bring you back. All right, last thing I'm showing you guys. All right, so go back to Explorer, go to Strings for you don't have to check anything; it doesn't really matter. All right, case insensitive. Go back to File colon, then go back to case insensitive dot exe. All right, I want to show you guys this. Right, so this is everything I've opened today. Literally everything. Um, and as you can see, it's from program files, app data percent, app data, program files, program files. See, some people like to hide like uh, different auto clickers or clients in these types of folders. So program files, blah, blah. So, you know, say this is actually real OBS. Say if someone wants to rename an auto clicker to OBS64.exe, right? So there's two things you can use to check if this is a real thing. One, you can you obviously check, you know, prefetch or prefetch. All right, you see OBS pops up. This is the right OBS. This is, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Anyways, ran this around 206. I'm not sure that is, but this is like a minute before. I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, this is a real OBS. I have not run this in a while. Obviously, you can see the dates. Um, you can actually delete prefetch files. Um, you know, if someone just right clicks delete, but go check the recycle bin, ban them for, you know, clearing recycle bin before SS. And obviously this is all legit stuff. There ain't no clients in here. Say I, uh, you know, change an auto clicker to renamed it to Zoom, right? And I launch it on my desktop. All right, if I launch it on my desktop, that's gonna be really obvious to see because first of all, I ran Zoom once and it pops up four times. If I run an auto clicker, it's gonna pop up one time, especially when it's on my desktop when the real one's in uh, app data roaming. So you guys, you guys can obviously see uh, the difference there. Uh, like different directories so just keep an eye on that but yeah if they delete like the prefetch logs uh download last activity viewer i put the download link in the description so if you want to use that to help you out uh yeah it's in the description boys all right guys i downloaded a uh, last activity view link in the description but as you can see this is a real zoom uh this is the real zoom thing so if it was like an auto click or someone renamed to this would not pop up so just be sure about this yeah it shows the directory and everything so this is really useful um yeah it shows you all the folders you want yeah download this boys this is actually really useful um you know it shows the time too so you can obviously ban them if they open it before screen share blah blah, blah stuff like that but yeah obviously i do have other methods in like process hacker it's just i'm not allowed to show you guys because i don't want people to patch it but yeah that's gonna be the end of the video if you guys enjoyed uh please leave a like i'm not gonna make another one of these because there's really not much else to do like especially like when i'm showing this to the public um i usually just like you know, I have an SS guy, but that's private, obviously, with a bunch of strings. Yeah, I can't show that off. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let's hit 100 likes, and yeah, peace.